If you have motion and you're building effects for Final Cut for transitions, what I want to show you is if you go to the project pane in the inspector and under properties, you've got this little checkbox here where you can override Final Cut Pro duration, which means you can create uh, transitions that will be sort of fixed at a default length. If you don't check that checkbox, then no matter how long your project is, uh, Final Cut is going to try and set this default length of a transition. Now most of the time your default transition is just going to be a dissolve. And while I'm thinking of this, I think I'll just set mine to 3. Anyway, well, that's just a FYI. Actually, let me go ahead and at the end of this, I'll just add another clip. And let's drag this out. Alright, for these two clips, there are no handles. Okay, uh, what a handle is, well, I'll show you what a handle is. If you double click on the border between two clips, you can drop into the precision editor. And if I trim the end of this clip here, I am creating a handle. And if you see the second number where it says uh, like minus two seconds, 10 frames, uh, that's how much of a handle I've created here on this side. And I can do the same thing here on this side. Now it's the exact same thing as just grabbing hold of these and trimming them. You still get the same feedback information on either side. And for right now I'm going to uh, delete those again. So, alright, there are no handles on this again. And if I try to add a transition, uh, if I select here Command T, there is not enough extra media. The extra media is the handle. You can have Final Cut create a default length, remember the preferences, the default length transition here. So if I create transition then Final Cut has created the handles for you. Uh, they'll be exactly the length they need to be. For the transition here you have these little grab marks at the top and you'll notice that I am creating more of a handle by dragging either side if I need to make those adjustments and you'll also notice that there's a two up display going on so that you can adjust these to make a better transition. And you have this little, it looks like a bow tie. I just call it a bow tie. If you double click on the bow tie, it'll drop you into the precision editor. And you can do the same things here. So you have different functions here. You can grab a hold of the end of the trim edit on the top clip, drag back and forth and adjust that. You can do the same thing down here. You can grab a hold of the clips and adjust them. You can adjust the length of the transition from here. Now notice that it's only going to go as far as you have handled. So you can just in and out and you have for however far you have a handle and then you can just drag this in general and fit it inside so that you're adjusting both sides and then you can continue just to graphically do all of this. And when you're done you can double click on this and it'll pack it all back up. Now there's one other way you can do this. I'm going to delete this transition. Let's see what we have as far as handles. These are our handles. Okay. 
actually going to add more. Um, do something uh, kind of like this. Now I'll add a transition here. And if you need to make a precision length transition with the transition selected, you can double click on the time here and you'll see uh, this is the default length. It's three seconds for my preferences set up. But let's say I need a, exactly five seconds. So with this highlighted, with this number highlighted, if I type 5.0, enter, this will grow to be exactly five second transition. If I needed five seconds and 14 frames, I can go to 5.14 and now this is 5 seconds and 14 frames. So you can make a precision length transition right in the storyline with uh, these few simple steps.